All right, everybody, welcome to Let's Play Dragon Quest Seven. Um, if I take a quick look here, we're at part 21. We really need to get the content rolling here. First order of business, I need to find the town, and it looks like I have just done that. Monsters were defeated. Uh, I'm just kind of scanning my way through the map and trying to figure out how big this continent is and these Moranzas have pretty high evasion. Seven points a kill, 24 gold, or per group kill. Okay, a little bit more experience, a little bit less gold for that. And there is a cave up here. a good level. The stat boosts are immense. Now we're just gonna go I know these rescue missions do eventually get a little bit more complex. Might not be at that point yet though. But I'm just looking around, you know, just in case. What's the sign say? Welcome to Verdham. We know where we are now. So I'll reflect the uh, title to uh, reflect that. Uh, this town's laid out in a pretty straightforward way, at least at the bottom. Oh, there's nobody. There's nobody moving or nobody outside. The statue directly before you it looks as if a living human was suddenly turned into stone. 
A statue in a place like this is quite unusual. It looks very much like Dialac. The diary on top of the table. Will you read it? Yes. Zack began reading the diary. He's always pursuing his dreams. He hardly takes notice of me. He avoids me, averting his eyes. The rest is so hastily written, no one but the author could read it. Back to the statue. A woman turned to stone. A girl turned to stone. She must have turned to stone after rushing inside. Priest turned to stone. We can't actually access that cupboard at the moment because we're blocked. So we turned to stone while changing her clothes. Things are just out of view. It looks like we can go into the back of the inn. Customers, please inquire within the gardener, uh, gardener in the herb garden. A VIP section. Soldier turned to stone with a gleeful look on his face. He is holding hands with a dancer. Must be sisters. Soldier turned to stone. He's still holding a glass in his hand. Look in this well. There's nothing in the well, at least in the past. Uh, weapon shop, which we can't use right now. Weapons dealer turned to stone. Making sure there's nothing on this side that we can actually loot. Swell boy, he turned into he turned to stone just after rushing into the shop. This is contorted with exertion. Now this is turning into a crap stealing so far. I haven't found anything worth looting. So she's cooking her up to the end. Much time must have passed as the pot is brimming with mold. You can't even recognize what she was cooking. From Bana. Bana Bana hat. This beautiful woman turned to stone. 
Oh, yeah, we could probably use the strength seed. Probably sells for a pretty penny. Oh, we wanted to actually be down on the ground floor. Right. Yeah. Cat turned to stone. She was turned to stone in the middle of a yawn. Appears to be out of breath. I mean, you got bigger problems than that right now, but yeah. Mecha Encyclopedia began reading. It's filled with descriptions of Mecha nations, complete with illustrations. One article that caught your eye reads, Lonely, no girlfriend, let her gently caress your cares away. Introducing the Mech Maid. That seems to be a gathering place. The door will not open. Huh. No special books. Martial artist turned to stone. Middle-aged man turned to stone. A maid turned to stone. Oh, we can get in here anyway. Kind of defeats the purpose of not letting you through the door, doesn't it? Some young man, he looks like he's pressing his face against a window to peer out. Looks like there's an upper floor. Nothing useful. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need that. The chest is locked, Jigawa. Glam. Which we are capable of equipping. It looks like it would make the most difference for Gabo, because I don't think he has anything equipped. Yeah, he didn't have any. Oh, he did have leather trunks equipped, I guess. Chest is locked. I want to see what the guide says about that. protect a woman and not really succeeding door is shut tightly so I have to go around a wooden helm is probably not of any use to us at this point It is not. Old man turned to stone. Okay. Nothing was found. 
no special books. I'm guessing we're going to need to run that beast up there before we can do anything else in this particular town. There's nothing in here either. Alright, nothing to do but confront Mr. Monster. So up, up, none of your keys fit, that's unfortunate, yum yum, the nectar tastes so much better when you gaze upon a human who has turned to stone, what? Scree, humans! It's so unusual to find people who haven't been turned to stone. Scree! It's not as sweet as a flower nectar, but I hear human blood isn't too bad. I think I'll have a little snack. Scree! Two attacks per turn, apparently. Well, uh, let's back this. Well, we'll die and then we'll load the state. The main reason we're losing is because I've lost. It's because I lost, um. Gabo. Took a really unfortunate roll. Um, let's load our state. Yeah, we did lose a little bit of gold. Well, I'll be back when we get to where we were. Back. I probably should have just taken the death because I think we went from like 800 gold to 400. We'll psych up uh, Maribel. Actually, yeah, let's try sap.
Oh, you cheat. know any offensive spells. Heal. <laughs> we do know heal more. And regular heal. Keeper, Fire Slash, and Heal Gabo. Gabo Heal. Gotcha. Scree, I let my guard down. But just because I lost doesn't mean the spell will be broken. Serves you right. The humans will remain a stone for eternity. Ha ha ha. Well, I mean... That's a problem. I forgot to equip the glam armor. I don't think the appearance stat does like anything, but Sprinkled the angel tear from the rooftop. Oh, I feel so dizzy. Darn, what could it be? Oh, I know, I remember now. I was watching Pepe. Damn that Pepe, he's gone and gotten involved with Linda. What Pepe is lying right on top of Linda? Has Pepe lost his mind attacking Linda like that? The chest is still locked. You've seen your face around here before. Are you avoiding the rain too? Yes. Hey, <laughs> that's about right. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kaya. Feel free to ask me anything about the mansion. 
Okay, Kaya. Lord rushed home as soon as the gray rain started to fall. Oh look, Borlock, the weather's suddenly cleared up. Well, thank goodness that gray rain has stopped. Indeed. Is it really true that people are turning to stone just by getting rained upon? Aren't you worried? You saw that ominous purple cloud too, didn't you? Just glad you're all right. I'm going to check what, what's going on out there. Something's odd. My body's been feeling stiff for quite some time now. It's fine with me if you slip in here to take cover from the rain. I'm just worried about my precious herb garden. I hope it's okay. What if the, that gray rain killed all my herbs? What indeed. Anyone, come over here. It's terrible. Someone has turned into stone in the herb garden. Mercy, isn't that Pepe the gardener collapsed over there? Is that little Linda there by Pepe's side? Don't push. I'll check on Linda too, but I'm scared to go near the herb garden. I don't know what happened to Pepe to happen to me. Do we have to go around? Never thought Pepe was the kind of guy to overpower a woman like that. I think that mere gardener would even consider making a move on my dear betrothed. How dare he! There we go. Wake up, Pepe! Quit fooling around! Answer me, please! There is no reply. He must be alive because he's breathing weakly. Calm down, Linda. Explain what happened to me. Pepe, Pepe, just because he protected me from the gray rain, sob sob. <laughs> Thank goodness, it seems that the garden wasn't damaged. Hmm. Oh, it's Ewan. What happened to you, Ewan? What are you doing here? Father, well, listen to this. Pepe got doused by the gray rain. He's not stoned yet, but he's unconscious and hasn't come to. What? Well, don't just stand around and carry Pepe in here for crying out loud. Pepe's body is hard as a rock, so I can't carry him by myself. What an embarrassment. Sorry, good travelers. Might you help us bring Pepe to the house? Well, yeah. I eat for this, travelers. Now, please bring Pepe to the house. Alright, I'll be... I assume you're telling the truth, Zach. I can hardly believe that the entire town was turned to stone. But yeah, I want to step on for a second, so just... Just like... Several minutes later, or instantly. If you're on, uh, watching a recording. I am not lying. When we came here, everyone was stone. I have no idea how long they remained as statues. No, I'm sorry, I won't doubt you any further, but for heaven's sake, people turn into stone, it's just as that old man and boy that passed through town said. Why is only Pepe remaining like this while everyone else returned to normal? It was all my fault. Pepe exposed himself to the gray rain to protect me. Why'd you do that, Pepe? You always gave me the cold shoulder. Oh, I always forgot to ask you, Linda. What were you doing with Pepe in the herb garden? I want an explanation. I didn't do anything. Well then, tell me. Or did you do something that you can't tell your fiancé about? You're a fool, Ewan. I wasn't doing anything. Just drop it. Oh, Linda. That darn Ewan behaving like that in front of our guests. Sorry, Zach, but could we please continue this conversation at my mansion? I mean, we could, but sure. Happened to Pepe is horrible. How heartbreaking. 
Mrs. at the garden is starting to suffer while Pepe is unable to move. How lovely, this is Borlock's herb garden, isn't it? What a beautiful garden. And I always visited the herb field to see Pepe. Everybody knows that. She didn't say a word, but it was obvious from her attitude. Even I could tell. Now the main thing here, I think, is that some of these areas that were previously blocked should now be accessible. None of that, that was already accessible. But specifically over here, he just returned to the mansion with a devastated look on his face. He could be so strong-willed and selfish, but he crumbles in front of Linda. Oh. I remember you, you are the travelers who brought in Pepe. Said you'd come because you have doubts about my relationship with Pepe. Then? Sure. You're kidding me, right? I don't feel anything about Pepe at all. Pepe may have become bedridden, but that's nothing to do with me. And anyway, he sure didn't seem to feel anything about me either. Fine. There's nothing going on between Pepe and me. Nothing at all. Nothing. Yeah, keep lying. It's fine. Eventually you might even believe it. That's not. I've traveled and spread the word of God throughout the region, but all I was able to do was... Oracle me! Go upstairs. Traveler armor. It's not even worth our time. I don't know if I can stand the noise coming from the bar downstairs anymore. Oops, no point in complaining to a customer. Welcome to our One night is 40 gold. Would you like to stay? Yes, I would. You fill those HP coffers? Adventuring. My hometown, Engao, is famous for the Festival of Flame. I came here looking to buy some herbs, but I seem to have overstayed my welcome. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't know how long that great warrior is planning to drink here. He came here to work. My daughter is always gloomingly carrying crystals or tarot cards or something. Because I love her, I'm trying to draw out my, my daughter's charms. This is terrible. They're forcing a shy like girl like me to dance in awful clothes. The more my sister loses at gambling, the more miserable my life becomes. Oh, 
There's a side entrance too. Oh! Yoink! We will store that immediately. The shop used to be owned by Linda's parents, who have since passed away. It's impossible for Linda to take care of the shop, so I'm running it on her behalf. Okay, then. It's the weapon and armor shop. How can I help you? Oh man, we got some upgrades. What can I sell? Let's see. We do have stuff to sell, but probably not enough to seriously upgrade yet. This great rain is the biggest thing that's ever happened in Vernon. You want to tell you a secret? Promise not to tell? Yeah. Okay, since you promised, I saw something. I saw Peppa and Linda arguing in the urn garden when the great rain fell. Did you? I'm shocked. Let's continue with the uh, the story. Ever since Pepe has become better and Linda's been so depressed. She saw a strong face in front of me, but I know she's really upset inside. What can I do? The way things are now, I just can't push forward any of these marriage propositions for Linda. Stop your whining and try reassuring Linda, will you? I know it isn't easy for you even but Pepe is Linda's childhood friend. This must be a shock for her. You must help bring her back, Pepe, for Linda's sake. I've got it. I'm going to have to figure out how to awaken Pepe all by myself. Oh, Zach, you stopped by just like you said. Never expected something like this to happen. I'm worried about Linda. Do you think you can help her out? I feel terrible asking you travelers to help with such a matter. I just can't believe my son Ewan. He hardly helps out at all. Linda to marry my son without fear of regret. The marriage between Linda and my son is finalized. I won't have to collect the debt owed to me. The only way I can eliminate the debt is for her to take my son's hand in marriage. Uh, Debt-based marriage. That, that'll that never work. Sorry, I just stepped out for a second. The door is locked. You look exhausted. Have you been worrying about Linda again? Look, sorry, but I need to be alone. It helps me think. Stop it, Kea. Linda and Pepe would have done the same, too. Don't lie to me. Well, then, do you know why Linda is constantly going to the herb garden where Pepe is? It's because she likes the herbs, right? You silly. Don't you think it's because she likes Pepe and not the actual herbs? Don't talk like that. How would you know? There's no way Linda would ever betray me. Absolutely, positively, impossible. I see someone in trouble. I feel that I must save them. It's a bad habit of Ewan's. In the past, the object of his affection wasn't Linda, but me. Gotta keep pro progressorating the story. That door opens now. Cool. All the doors must open. I'm assuming we're gonna get a method to unlocking that chest at some point. Oh 
Okay. Yo, Master Ewan doesn't really help out much. Linda's house is right next to door, so no need to run, you know. But I want to. Oh, the minute I told her, Linda kicked me out. All I can do now is just wait for Linda's mood to change. Here, Linda, I know it's not enough, but use it to pay your debts. Please stop it, I can't accept money from you. Your dad took good care of me when I was young, so I want you to take it. You're still paying off your parents' debt, right? You don't have to worry about that. I'm marrying Ewan, so don't worry about the debt. What, the son of Borlock? That's wonderful, congratulations. And this is your wedding gift. It's not much, but please accept it, Linda. I do appreciate the kindness of others when I'm going through a hardship. But no matter what, who I meet, my heart is filled with pain and sorrow. I'm in too much turmoil to deal with the kindness of others. The Grey Rain is the biggest thing that's ever happened in Verdun. Nothing for you to feel badly about, all right? I need it done all by himself, so don't worry about it a bit. I think that Pepe might stay like this for the rest of his life. I, it's all right. Seems that someone in the world, there's somewhere in the world, there's a secret potion that'll cure all kinds of illness. If you can get a hold of it, you might be able to save Pepe. Whether you saved us, I beg you. Can you find a medicine to cure Pepe? Can you do it for me? I think I can find the secret medicine since I'm not used to traveling. So yeah, it's um the medicine I believe is actually an Engal. There's also some reference to um, the kid and um, the old man Clayman and um, in um, dialect, I believe it. What it was called? 